Hello folks and welcome back to New Man's Land and it is harvesting time. Today is where we harvest our oats for the first time. Our first harvest on this farm and I am looking forward to it. So what we've got here is 7,000 litres of planks we need to sell. We've got John Deere up here to give a hand with the trailer. And I think it's finally time to say goodbye to our little case here. Uh, this tractor has been really useful for us getting us kicking off and started with on this series, but we don't really need it as such. We've got three tr decent tractors already. Yes, I know because of the money situation, but regardless, I'm just looking for the price for planks. See where is the best place to sell them at the moment. Best place to sell. Ah, oh, there's only forty pound dif forty four pounds difference, so we're just gonna set it here. There we go, that is eleven thousand pounds for us. I'm just gonna get this all unloaded, try bring this forward a bit. There we go, just turn you off. Because we need a trader, a combine, and a header. Also, we need to look at getting the tether because we need to really think about getting stuff ready for when we have animals like cows and sheep. How much money we can get back from this? 20 grand. Not too bad, considering how much was it? Like 35 grand until it was, first of all. So now, combines. And I've got rid of some mods and added one more because I want to see the price. E 300 grand. Nope, don't have enough for a header. Oh, we'd love to get the Colossus Harvester, but fortunately we can't, so. Go for the big tank on this, the bigger engine. I am just going to stick with that for now, CB radio, why not? Put a larger pipe on it, rather than a short one. 121 grand. And that fits the 625X. So that is that one there, 7.6 meters. Do I have any other modded headers in? Yeah, apart from the tool height control, tool height control mod. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Yes, it'll enable fast farming, but it's not really what I'm aiming for in this series. Say like intentional cheeses. Now we need a trader because what is the capacity of again? That is 11,000 litres, so something that can carry about two or three combine loads. So around the 30,000 30, litre mark. So we can go with that, 33 grand for 32,500 litres. Go with that. Try to see what other one we got. Nah, I'm not going to go with the TARDIS, I am. Man, they're expensive for what they offer. That's a size body. Can we get a truck? So if we got that, the lizard underbelly. That is 120,000 litres, let's say. 91 grand. Can we get anything for 110, essentially? 110 and change. Max Superliner. Ooh, 
tempted. I am really tempted. Let's go with the TLX Phoenix. I think maybe the good option for us. But as well, we need land. As much as I want to get a lorry and all that, having a new piece of land is at this time more beneficial for us. So at the end of it, we're going to go with the crampy big body 790. 41,000 litres for 47 grand. Let's keep it red. Chassis can go black. Black rims. Not going to cost us anything. So that's that. Now we need to look at a new piece of land. And I am thinking, ideally 47 or 58 to continue on our expansion. And I think for now we can go with 58. Because then, what that means is, we can clear ahead this, clear this entire forestry area, clear that, smooth all this out, replace the chicken pens and all that. And then we still will have a decent chunk of forestry area for the time being until we start looking at replanting trees. So, so I think if we could flatten this off, that would be either we could extend the field potentially, or mega field this is, or add productions or even animals onto this part. A couple of options for us there. But yeah, I think we'll go with buy a new plot of land so now that is our third plot of land it is really exciting now our first harvest a decent combine and perhaps for a very significant part of this series that will be our main and only combine I say that but if we keep on doing well now with, now we've got the correct economy settings. I really think this could go big for us, so I'm just gonna put you onto the worker. Fit that on. Ninety miles an hour. It's going to be a little bit of a trick, unless we put you on the back of this, which we will. But first of all, we're going to let the John Deere move out of the way, yeah, rather than driving back. I mean, or is it too wide to go on? Just get the wheels aligned. No, it's just not wide enough. Oh well, that is fine. So it takes back to the farm and let's get ready to harvest for the first time. And here we are back at the farm. Ignore that little thing there, we accidentally went into the crop field when I got distracted, so just temporarily turned it off to get it back out. But yeah, with this plot of land now, we can extend our pathway here. There we go, we can just about get around with the combine. But also, like 59, 59 is a good option for us, but it's still having that soup section, so well, maybe a later addition, but for now, we're not focused on that. Turn on the combine. And off we we go. There we go, getting straw. And that is nice. Not sure how fast it's going to fit up, but we're already at 3-4%, so it may fill up quite quickly. 
disappear, but this is a hundred percent. Don't know why it's saying ninety three percent. Bit of an odd dumper, but just got a little bit there that I missed. There we go. But yes, our plan next is really to start expanding with things like productions, getting the sheep in. Also, we can look at tethers and that, because that's one thing I actually did forget at the store. So, tethers. You know what? We're just going to buy that, because we will need that. Because that grass field over there, that's going to get cut down and mowed, and that's going to be all. F Will it be all f hay, b hay bales? We could do a hay bale, a bunch of hay bales, let it regrow, and then just have a bunch of sludge bales. Yeah, we need to find somewhere to store it, but. But we can focus on that later on, I think. I think for, for now, we'll continue on this, get us done, and I'll see you folks in a few moments. the field already done, worker smashing this out. We've got the beater here and we're going to bell this straw. With the straw we're thinking about storing it for the cows and, that, and TMR. Obviously first of all we did make a mistake, for some reason it was producing very small bells, 125 centimeter bells so we swapped that up to 180 so the difference is rather than 5,000 years per bell I think it's like something like 12,000 years per bell we're getting. 
Let's have a quick look. 11,000, close enough. And that's just going to help us in that, just in terms of the amount of bells we need to store. I think with the straw now, we could possibly sell it. The smaller ones, depending on the price differences. So we have a little gander. Go up. Have a look at straw. It's literally rock bottom at the moment. We're in July. It's rock bottom, so we'll hold on to it for a bit. Our worst case scenario, we'll just get a bell storage. So it's not a big problem for us, so. Because I think well, the bell storage was like 25 grand. And with the new plot of land we got now, we can definitely factor that in. Well, I did try to get the weight, see if we can fast farm with this, but nope. I didn't think we did that sign, but you never know. It's always worth a shot. Maybe worth actually just win roaming this. Maybe. Just maybe. Actually, what? Well, let's just go and try that, actually. Why not? The weight. Get rid of the weight. And. Any of these tractors is capable of pulling that wind rower. Again, the purpose of the wind rower, it will just make our life easier, so. In one pass, we can perhaps get two or three rows of straw in. That will get four. I think about three, three uh, straw swaps we can win row together. We've got the win row, so why not use it? Oops. Without it catching. Or smashing into all of our equipment. Go. Yeah, let's sort that better next time so we don't have to deal with that. But the soybeans and that, when are they ready? End of the year for soybeans since. Was it September or Oct no, October or November for soybeans? I think we planted it in the end, so end of May, so be November. Sorghum, again, I think that was May, so again, that'll be oh, September. So, you yeah, got a couple of months to also get this field ready, get us prepped for the next crop. Can't plant nothing now, can we do canola as early as the next month, so. I'll just put the times back up, because I did turn. To Let's put it back down to times five, because obviously we did have the rain in that as you may see in the time lapse, so we did have to wait for a couple of hours for it to clear up. But yep, three swaths we're doing, that is fine for us. How's the combine doing? No notification yet, so I think he'll get that, well, I'm saying that, it's just got hit 80% now. So we get the worker on doing that. And yeah, I was having little issues with the bell trader, not the bell trader, just the trader. Not too sure what's going on there. But for some reason it's just having issues of going in whilst we're moving, so... May have to... I don't know, just stop the combine and empty it manually rather than doing it via the worker. That's going to hit 90%. So you yeah, know what, we'll just empty it ourselves down here, that's most of the field done already. And again, it takes too much to get the rest of this done. But yeah, this was definitely worth it. Because if you think about it, if we use any of the other harvesters that we was considering, we have to empty it twice as frequently at least. Not as fast. But yeah, it's like doing it here is having no issues whatsoever. 
But for some reason with the worker, it's having issues with emptying, so... Who the heck knows? Also, we need to think about having the cider put in. And I'm thinking... Because we're not really going to go much further this way... Into, well, we're going to go more this way for our crops and that, so... Have a look at silos. How much is the No Man's Land one? Eight grand. Or we can have this. Twenty grand. Five and a half million litre capacity. So rather handy. I think if we may have to get rid of some of this crop, so because then when we buy this plot of land, we can just go like so. Actually. Oh, we bought this, didn't we? So, I was thinking it was the other plot that we bought, so... Perhaps something... Like here. Just trying to think... Is that a good place for it? Just trying to think of the pavement. Yeah, a track will go here eventually at some point, so... You know what? Let's do it. We'll do a quick bit of landscaping. Just fill it out a bit. Just a bit of concrete. Ah, we're in that situation not where we've gone into the other land. You know what? It's not an issue for us. We will buy that at some point, so... And actually, we can sort the bells in here. Yeah, I shall will work out quite well for us. Okay, that is empty. Get the worker back on this. But yeah, it's just got enough horsepower to get this working, but obviously I can see it struggling a bit, so we'll get up here. Not sure what it's going to do here, but hopefully he'll turn around and come back down here. And as well, hopefully he's got enough working with. So next we'll just go around. And we'll do the wind rowing ourselves. Yeah, we can get the worker to do it. And any loose bits at the end, we can just go and get ourselves like a little swath pile over there. And it's just going to help us bail everything faster. So it's definitely worth the effort. Go right a bit more. Try to get into the centre of this swath here in the middle. But yeah, that was a nice decision getting that combine. No regrets whatsoever. And that said, that's most likely going to be our main combine for most of the series. I would like to get the Colossus at some point. May not go to the, the unrealistic capacity. Unless we're going to hit like episode 40, 50. And hopefully that notification didn't pop up on screen and recording. Uh, yeah, it's just oh no, it's an issue I'm having that moment with uploading with one of the episodes and that. That's couple of hours trying to get uploaded and it goes completely fine but it gets to the end and then BAM it says cannot upload so I may have to re-edit that on Sheriff Factory before I upload it to the PC so that I can then edit in my proper editing software on OW! <laughs> <laughs> that, that scared me, that did. <laughs> that made me jump. Whoa! What are you coming down this way for? 
Sweet lord, that... Oof. That was a bit of a jump scare. That's why I'm tier boss for here. But yeah, the issue... Yeah, not sure what it is. Can't find my memory stick, so I could just do it that way, but... Who knows? So hopefully that didn't show up in the recording. It may do. If it did, I do apologise. I'm trying what I can to get rid of that in post, but... I don't think I could do anything about that. Oh, that scared me, that did. <laughs> well, yep. Yeah. This is working like a beaut. So, I think we'll get this swath here done. Going over again. But what did it turn around? So this was having issues with the sawmill and that being there. If it's too close then we can always just go up and down a few times. Lengthways. But man. Okay, that's good I didn't destroy the crop there. Because now we get our bait there. I know, John Deere's on that. You know what? This is almost full. So we'll get you to the silo. But yeah, now, where we bought this plot down, we can finish off doing the pavement. There are a few small trees we will have to cut down first of all. Actually, actually quite a bit actually. But that's not an issue. And I could just be fed it into the sawmill. And actually. Is that a multi fruit side? I'm not sure actually. The yeah, else you knew it's got the oats in that. That may be a multi fruit side. If that's the case, then that will really help us when we get potatoes and all that in the farm. And income thing just went up. Didn't really pay attention to how much it went up. So, we'll get this over here. Just park it somewhere for now. Get the baiter. I see yeah, it's hard to. Yeah, it's harvesting fine, I think. Yeah. Nah, just from here it seemed like it was like up above the crop and that, but... Or the bit of the hair was above the crop, but... No worries. So, we'll get the rest of this done. And then, I think we'll end the episode here with... Just do a bit of bell stacking, saw everything up. And then jobs are good then. But yeah, this is really a lot better now. Fill up a lot quicker.
that is all the bathing done and all the harvesting. And in terms of what we got from this field, we've got not that. 50,000 years, just over 50,000 years of oats. And actually, I'll say, I ain't in a bad hole, actually, all things considering. Well, let's go with these big ones first. So, yeah, not too bad, and I'll be interested to see how many bells of straw we got in terms of volumeage. Because then we can plan out what should we do with it, uh, how much to sell, because we are going to sell some of these, I think. I think it would be wise to do that. Or just leave it in storage. There ain't no problem with doing that, and it's easy capable of doing that, as we are. And there's just say uh, only one bell type accepted. Because obviously we did 125 meter spells first of all, and then we went up to the 180s. They're all 125s, I think. Yeah, those two are, I think. But yeah, we can direct drill this field next month in August. Oops. And actually, how is the greenhouse doing? Still plenty of water. Farm salt mills don't run their own woods. Not too concerned about that. May just leave it running on planks for now. And then when we get the carpentry business in, we can sell that. Should what? Let's do that. Let's get all these big ones that we can get. Uh, I think there's a couple more over here. And that's the last one, so 21 big bells. 11,000 litres each. So that is 220, 231,000 litres. That's definitely more than enough for what we need for the cows and that, but you never know. And that is definitely the last one. So that is 242,000 litres now. So we'll get this put over, hopefully, into storage. Be interested to see if that works. If it does, smash in. So then in the next episode, we'll get that filled, cleared, and ready to seed. That's us if we do can know that. Actually, I'll have a look at the crop candor again. If we can do can know that, then we can do weed to barley. But if we wait to do barley, harvest it, and then we can do it again. So, it's so either canola, barley, or wheat. So, look, we can only do one crop on this field. So, unless we wait, either wait or make it into a grass field. That's the question. Actually, we may do a cover crop, actually. If we do Aussie Radish, then we can cultivate it over. But that's going to take a while, and I'm not sure if we can have enough time to do it today. Okay, those trees, yeah, they're going to get cut down anyways. I may do canola actually, because then we can do canola oil at some point, so... Definitely worth doing it. Goes, cut you down. I know we can do it from side down, it'll phase through the building, but I'll try to do it semi properly. So then, just turn in. There we go. Hopefully it doesn't glitch or anything. 
there we go. I've just got plenty of room, so we'll go back a bit. And boom. Copper bells dropped. That is a bit of a bummer. And I don't want to reset the trader yet. Because let's just go and pick all those bells up again. There we go. Look at that. That is actually quite nice. Protected from the rain. And now I'll just do quickly do the small one. So I'll quickly jump cut that. Put pack that away. And then we'll end the episode there. And there we go, that's that. That's 14 small bells. And we did actually leave two large bells in the field, but we just quickly clear them off. And whack them somewhere next to here. So what we'll do is just quickly do a cheeky reverse job. Like so. And I'm um, hopefully it won't glitch or anything. There we go. Most of the end could have gone back a bit more. You know what, let's just redo it. There we go. So back up properly. A bit more. There we go. And that's all of our straw for the cows at some point. But now we need to focus on the sheep over here. Get this all cut up in the next episode. Get rid of these small dinky trees. And then eventually clear up the forest over here. So these trees over here. Most of those are going to go bye bye. That's going to go bye bye over there at the top. So yeah, a lot of work to be done still. A small swath of straw, but we can pick that up or just rake it in to the field. But regardless, that is where I'm going to leave it today. So, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share with us, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for choose to do, hope you all have a nice day. But for now, speed farming voice stream, and I'll see you all. A very soon.